What is Christmas like for you? Christmas is so amazing for me because my son, um, I just like to see the joy on his face on Christmas. But I don't really, I'm not going to lie, I don't really like to celebrate it, but like I don't want to like single my son out. I want my son to like, you know, grow older and be able to figure it out himself. But once mm. he's older and like if he says, mom, I don't want to celebrate it, we ain't celebrating it because I don't like it. Like it's it's supposed to be like filled with joy, but for some reason it's like, especially like a single mother, like people struggling, people stressed, people overworking themselves, people getting sick because they're working so much and they're not resting. So it's has its pros and cons, I guess. Mm. Do you have a, well, before I even ask this question, has anything ever crazy happened on Christmas for you, a past Christmas, anything out of the norm? Hmm. No, not really. I haven't had like a bad Christmas. I mean, I've had like, you know, bad breakups around Christmas, but I tend not to let that like phase me, I guess, from the real reason why I'm celebrating it. Bad breakups around Christmas. Mm -hmm. Sounds like more than one. <laughs> why does that happen? around Christmas for you. Is that just guys are just a piece of shit. That's, that's, I don't know. No, I'm just fine. Uh, probably the guys I choose are just a piece of shit. They're doing this right before Christmas? They're doing this at, on Christmas Day, right after Christmas? No. Uh, I had a boyfriend. We were still together. We didn't break up, but like we broke up after Christmas because like he didn't even tell me. Like, Merry Christmas, I didn't see him. Just really weird, so that probably means he's probably married or something, never know. And then now, like this Christmas, like, just bad breakup before Christmas, so, hey. Mm. I don't see it though, I just, I'm more focused on making sure my son has a good Christmas. I see. Yeah. Maybe there's somebody watching this that's going through a breakup around this time. Mm -hmm. Any advice to them? Um, my advice, if you are going through a breakup around the holidays period, um, just stay focused on the things that are really important to you. And if that person is important to you, Keep yourself busy or, you know, pray about it. Meditate. I meditate heavy um, because it's all in your mind. If you let it affect you, then it's going to affect you. So just try and be around positive things. And then when they try and come back after the holidays, don't let them. Zero tolerance policy. Yeah. Heck yeah. You're not no side chick or no side dude. That's how they treat you. When it comes to Christmas, do you have a favorite Christmas memory, maybe from a past Christmas? Oh my goodness, yes. My best Christmas ever. It sucks, but it was like the Christmas I found out that my mom was Santa Claus, right? And I felt so bad because like, I was spoiled. So like, my Christmas list would be so long. So when I found out she was Santa Claus, I only asked for one thing. It was a cell phone, but um, my mom is, was a single mom too, so I kind of felt really bad that I asked for a lot, but then under the tree, like, we were having like kind of like a rough year that year. Uh, I think she took like a pay cut at work, and I'm not going to go into details, but yeah, and so I wasn't really expecting to get much at all, and then she bought me my first cell phone, so I like fainted. Like, I didn't faint it, but I like... I was an actress back then, so I like fell out and cried. So how'd you know she was Santa Claus? Cause my big sister told me. Cause I was all excited and I wanted to make 
cookies and she was like, why are you making cookies for mama? <laughs> I'm like, what? She's like, Mama is Santa Claus. This you're too old to be thinking that Santa Claus is still real. <laughs> oh, wow. I was like in sixth grade. So, Crushed? Oh, uh, my heart was broken. I just like looked at her like, so you were Santa Claus this whole time? <laughs> and she owned up to it? Yeah, she owned up to it. Mm. She looked crushed too, though, because that's like taking the whole joy out of it. It's got to end at some point, though. It could have ended in seventh grade. Why does she have to end it in sixth grade? <laughs> what about your son? He still believes in Santa? He does, but he's been asking me lately, like, <laughs> Mom, uh, kids at my school are saying Santa isn't real. Is that true? I'm like, no, that's not true. I hate lying to him, but, <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't want him, like, knowing that, you know, his mom goes through hell and hot water to get him his presents. What grade is he in right now? He's in third grade right oh. now. Mm -hmm. When do you think most kids find out? I'd say around, like, third or fourth grade, fifth mm. grade, for sure. So you were late on finding out. People would always tell me that, but I just wouldn't believe it because you're telling me, how old was I in sixth grade, like 11, 12? You're telling me for 12 years, I've never caught my mom putting presents under the tree. I don't believe it. Mm. They tried to tell me. They warned me, but then my sister crushed me. She confirmed it. Yeah, definitely. Now, when it comes to Christmas, Christmas music, Christmas movies, these are big things yeah. in entertainment. Do you have a favorite Christmas song of all time? Um, I have a few. Or just, what's the first one that pops in your head when we just talk? Christmas music, go. Um, Destiny's Child, like whole album, I think they had like a Christmas album and I would just play it around the holidays. Chris Brown. Um, that one he did in that movie. This Christmas? Uh, yeah. It's just amazing. Favorite Christmas <laughs> movie of all time? Oh, I'm not really a movie watcher. My favorite one, though, in school was, like, I think something with Rudolph in it. Because mm. I always felt like. The yeah. animated kind of... Yeah. It wasn't real life, but it wasn't a cartoon. Right. It was... I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the exact title, but yeah, I know which... I can picture it in my head as you're, you mentioned it. When it comes to gifts, and you, you mentioned gifts earlier, what's the best Christmas present you ever received so far? Was it that cell phone? No. That wasn't the best one. No. The best Christmas present. Um, I guess you can't say I received it. I did. I did. My, like, my son, our first Christmas together. Like having him, being a mom. I was so young, but it was cool, actually. Because you don't know exactly what your parents go through for you until you have to go through it. Mm. And him just as a baby, like I was like struggling to get him stuff. He didn't even understand it, but I still wanted him, like, his first Christmas to be good. We S took pictures so he could remember, so. Somebody watching this, maybe they're a single parent, mm -hmm. and uh, they got to deal with, you know, this holiday. Any advice to them? Um, Any general advice? Some single parents are better off than others, but... Because, like, I see people in situations that I couldn't imagine myself in. But me around the holidays, when I knew it was about to be around the holidays, I overworked myself. Um, but I would just say, you know, teach your kids that Christmas isn't just about, like, presents so then that way you don't really stress yourself out and if 
you don't do that, then just try and keep a cool head because holidays like really drive people crazy and I've lost some people around the holidays, like so yeah, it just drives people crazy and it sucks, honestly, but just keep a cool head. Just remember what you're doing it for and stay focused on that. Try not to stress yourself out or overwork yourself. Worst Christmas present you ever received? Hmm. Worst Christmas present I ever received. I don't know. I haven't received like a bad Christmas present because I just like kind of am thankful for anything. Mm. When Christmases were rough for you, uh, was there ever a time you never got anything or you always got at least something? I always got at least something. But once I found out that Santa Claus wasn't real, man, say. My heart, I can't take it. Once I found out Santa Claus wasn't real, my mama got real lazy. She was like, uh-uh. <laughs> y'all know this me now, so <laughs> I'm going to buy y'all one or two things, and that's it. Don't don't ask me for nothing else. That might have been a good thing for her, probably a weight lift yeah, off her shoulders. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. What about re-gifting? Do you, have, you ever done, have you ever received a gift, then gave it off or passed it on as another gift to somebody else? What's your policy on that? Um, I have um, last last Christmas, um, I got like a a blanket set and um, some pajamas, and it was a lady on the side of the road. Like for Thanksgiving, we did a we did a um, like basically went and fed the homeless. And then Christmas, I wanted to do a blanket drive, but like it was last minute. So I just bought a little bit of blankets myself. And then the fact that I got that, I handed out like 10 blankets. And then as soon as I was done, I was got in my car and I stopped at the stoplight and it was a lady on the side of the road, like, you know, asking for money. So I had my gift right there. So I gave her my gift. So, oh, but I don't really like. If you're, if you're asking, like, do I just free give my gifts? Like, no, but that time I did. I've never heard somebody uh, say that for regifting. Yeah. First time. Now, what about uh, working? Have you ever had to work Christmas Eve? Oh, yeah. Christmas Day. Christmas Day, Christmas night. Yep. Oh, yeah. I would take, like, when I was working a regular job, especially, I would take those shifts purposely. Because, you would? Yeah. Because I know nobody else wants to do it. Um, it's overtime plus holiday pay. Like, I wasn't going to pass up on that. And then it's the holiday. We're going to be struggling. So, you know, I'm going to see my son in the morning. And I'm going to get to see him open his gifts and everything. And he's going to have to understand mom has to go to work. Because at the end of the day, yes, Christmas is great. And you got all your presents, but I still have bills to pay. So, yeah, I would take those shifts purposely. 